Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. So, in the last video, we have seen trigonometric equations and uh, we have seen the general solution of the equations sin x equal to 0, cos x equal to 0 and tan x equal to 0. In this video, we will see what is the general solution of the equation sin x equal to k. Okay, fine, right. So, let us start. We know that for any trigonometric equation, for that matter, let us take this itself, sin x equal to k. There are two solutions. One is called as principal solution and another one is the general solution. So, we know that whatever the value of x we are getting by saying sin x equal to k, x is nothing but a variable angle or x is nothing but an angle. We know that, right. Now, let me say that the principal solution is alpha okay and let me say that the general solution is theta what is the meaning of that the meaning of that is sin alpha is equal to sin theta equal to k correct because what 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 we have understood from the last video that principal solution under the general solution principal solution is a solution which is in a particular window but general solution is also the solution of the equation correct because there are infinite infinite solutions to a particular trigonometric equation okay now we know that sin alpha equal to sin theta so can i go ahead and say that uh, sin theta minus sin alpha equal to 0 now recently only we have learned about transformations we know how to transform this from subtraction to product so this is nothing but equal to sin c minus sin d that is nothing but 2 cos c plus d by 2 that is theta plus alpha by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 that is sin theta minus alpha by 2 equal to 0. Now, this equation to be 0, I should have either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0. That implies that cos of theta plus alpha by 2 equal to 0 or sin of theta minus alpha by 2 equal to 0. Now, we know that cos of theta plus alpha by 2 equal to 0, we know that for cos function, what is the, what is the general value, general solution we know that, right, for this particular function. In the last video, we have seen that, that is nothing but 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. So, cos of theta plus alpha by 2 is equal to cos of or I can directly go ahead and say theta plus alpha by 2 equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. Maybe that is easy a little bit. Okay, let me do that. I will just erase this part. So, I can go ahead directly and substitute say that theta plus alpha by 2 equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. I hope you are very clear with this because in the last video we have seen that if not you can refer it back. Similarly, sin of x equal to 0, we know that x is nothing but equal to n into pi because for all integer multiples of pi, sin is 0. So, these are the two solutions. So, whatever whatever the solution I am going to get, the general solution, it should satisfy both of them. Okay. Now, let me simplify that. What is this becoming? This is becoming theta plus alpha equal to 2n plus 1 into pi r theta minus alpha equal to 2n pi. That means, I can write it as theta equal to 2n plus 1 into pi minus alpha or theta equal to 2n into pi plus alpha. Now, I have to, let, let me take values because I know n belongs to z, right? So, let me take different values and see how, what this is becoming. Okay, let me do that. If I take n equal to 0 here, what I will get? 2 into 0, 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 into pi minus alpha. So, the first value I get is pi minus alpha. If I take n equal to 1 
I get 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 pi minus alpha. If I n take n equal to 2, I get 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 pi minus alpha. This is one set of solutions I am getting because the equation will have solutions from both. So let me go to the second one now. If I take n equal to 0, what is the solution here? 2 into 0, that is nothing but alpha. If I take n equal to 1, this is nothing but 2 pi plus alpha. If I take n equal to 2, this is nothing but equal to 4 pi plus alpha. Now you can see here, whenever it is odd, I am getting minus alpha. Whenever it is positive, whenever it is even, sorry, pardon me, whenever it is even, you are getting plus alpha. That means the general solution for this is something like this. I can have n because I see that if n equal to, um, I can I can actually see that this whole solution is satisfied by, if I take n equal to 1, 1, n equal to 2, 3, 4, so I can say n pi plus, now only the problem is sometimes it is minus, sometimes it is plus. So what I will do, I will take it as n so that when it is odd, it will be minus. When it is even, it will become plus. And I know alpha is there. So that's what I will keep. Now see, this is the general solution of sin x equal to k. Now, if you put n equal to 1, what happens? 1 into pi pi minus 1 whole to the power of 1 is minus pi minus alpha. If you put n equal to 0, 0 this becomes alpha. If you put n equal to 2, 2 into pi 2 pi plus alpha. So you can see that all the values are coming from this equation. So the sin x equal to k, the general solution is n pi plus minus 1 whole to the power of n into alpha. If you don't want to do mathematically like this, I mean to say you don't want to use applied transformations and all that stuff, you can do another way also simply if you remember this because both of them are same the representation is different but the solution is the same now suppose let us say alpha is is principal solution that means it should be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 i will take it here i will say this is alpha okay right let me put it in another color maybe yeah this is alpha so, you know that alpha sin of alpha is equal to sin of pi minus alpha. That we know, right? Why? Because sin is positive in second quadrant. And also we know it is also equal to sin of 2 pi plus alpha. Why? Because 2 pi is the period of sine function. And it's not only 2 pi actually. N, you can multiple with multiples of 2 pi, right? So, I can say it as. 2n pi plus alpha and here this is nothing but pi minus alpha is fine but I add 2 pi to that again it will be the same that is nothing but 2n pi plus pi minus alpha you can see that here it is alpha here it is pi minus alpha why we are doing 2n pi because the period is 2 pi because the period is 2 pi so, if you add 2n pi to that, this becomes 2n pi plus alpha. And if I add pi minus alpha, it becomes 2n plus 1 into pi minus alpha. So, you don't need to do that. If you just remember, you can do this way too. But at the end, the solution is the same. The solution is n pi plus minus 1 whole to the power of n into alpha. So, whenever you get, let us do one simple example just to understand this. Okay, right. Let us say we have been given sin theta equal to 1 by 2. Now, what is the principal solution? Principal solution should be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. I know that sin of 30 degrees is 1 by 2. So, pi by 6 is the principal solution. What is the general solution? General solution is n pi plus minus 1 whole to the power of n into alpha. Alpha is nothing but equal to pi by 6. Remember alpha is always principal solution and this is your general solution. That's how you can do 
simple examples. We will do them after some time once we cover cos and tan also. Okay, that's about the general solution of equation sin x equal to k. Hope you liked it and you understand it. We will go through the cos x in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.